I'm Dan Wasser, Director of Business Development for FMS. I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Sentinel Visualizer to discover connections, relationships, and patterns within your sets of data. So it all starts with a set of data. And by the way, any data that I show to you is either scrambled or publicly available. So I'm not showing anything secret or private to you. Here we have telephone call records, column A called column B on date C with some other information. The problem is that we have almost 4,000 rows of data, so it would be pretty difficult to figure out any connections, relationships, or patterns. Moreover, we have an additional set of data, basically a phone book, the person and the phone they own. And then we had a third set of data, a list of targeted phone numbers. So we imported those three sets of data using our import tool. Here's the user interface where you basically draw a map from the spreadsheet to the various fields in Sentinel Visualizer. Then after you hit import, you can visualize the data. So this is a visualization of those three sets of data. We see a lot of little networks down here, some bigger networks up here, and a really large network here. So if we use the navigator here over on the right side and we zoom in a little bit, we can see some of the, the smaller networks, just two phone numbers calling each other, pretty standard, no big deal. Now over here, we have some larger networks. Starts to get a little bit more interesting where we can see f more phone numbers calling each other. But I think the most interesting network is the one here in the upper left. So we're going to take our mouse and we're going to grab this network and we're going to choose selected. And once we select it, we can send it to a new visualizer saying filtered to new visualizer and then it isolates that one network in a new tab. Now from here, if we zoom in, we can see not only do we see the phone numbers that are connected to each other, but because I imported a phone book, we can actually see the people and how they're connected to the different phones. So Ruth owns this phone, which placed a call to that phone, which is owned by James Cook. In addition, we have metadata colorization, which is what I used for the targeted list. So in this chart, we can see this number here and this number here are in red. So again, I used metadata colorization to display the targeted phone numbers. Now, if I click on that targeted number, and control click on that targeted number, then we can use the shortest path tool. So if you see here in red, we can see how those two phone numbers are connected. Moreover, I can filter out the noise, get rid of the noise, and I've removed the clutter and isolated just how those two numbers are connected. Now we'll go ahead and just redraw this and we can see that this targeted number received a phone call from this phone number, which also called this number, etc. The point being, the two targeted numbers are not connected to each other. They have intermediaries. So as an investigator, I'm going to investigate these guys because they're the ones connecting the targeted numbers. So that was an overview of how we took three different sets of data and discovered the connections, relationships, and patterns within those sets of data. If you'd like more information about Sentinel Visualizer, feel free to send an email to me, dwasser at fmsasg.com, or visit our website.